It is a national emergency in my mouth right now. DEFCON 1. Holy f- Good morning, or <clears throat> good morning to the best family. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, June 13th. Nope, June 14th. No, June. Oh my god. June 15th. My fault, yo. Today is the day of Clash of the Castle. Right now, it's actually happening. However, I'm not gonna be on social media at all because your boy doesn't want any spoilers. Um, I would watch it right now. However, I am actually working. My assistant manager asked me if I could take a shift and, um, you know, we'll swap some other time. But it's all good. Really tired. No, actually, I'm not tired anymore. I just had a deep relaxation night last night, if you get what I'm saying. The only bad part about it is that like the next day it's kind of a kind of a rough morning it's like waking up after taking like night cool the night prior or like melatonin the night prior if it wasn't so windy today i feel like i would uh i would go through with one of the videos that i wanted to do one of these days i wanted to update you guys on the whole social media thing we're really close to approaching six months without social media so i want to give an update and stuff but I, I, don't, I don't know i need to find the right opportunity for it because i gotta get the right lighting for it i want to go up to the parking lot for it i want to make sure it's sunset time I want to get the right photo you know what i'm saying guys can't you tell my absolute excitement for leg day you know what i'm actually excited for this leg day i am i'm quite excited i hope the camera doesn't get too hot here it's that time of the year again ladies and gentlemen where my camera could overheat oh seriously guys i actually wanted to quickly apologize about uh the video a couple days ago with the whole starbucks thing i did not mean anything with the whole like political stance at third i don't know not even political stance but like just know that i was purely basing that video off of what they did for me the goodies that they gave me just know uh i don't support that i only support what that specific uh starbucks did for me and for the for the employees and stuff went off on a tangent there my bad but um yeah leg day leg day leg day bed was a summer of 69 the summer seemed to last forever those were the best days of my life when you got a job to do and it's when i'm at you yeah standing at your mama's part those were up next, I got a bunch of feel-good songs. Perfect to get your head bobbing. First up, eyes. What? What the f- It's like, first one, ass. Alright, let's replay it. No pun intended. Shawty is like a melody in my head that I can't keep on. Got me singing like na 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 every day. It's like my iPod second replay. I don't want to lose your love tonight. I ain't got many friends left to talk to. You know I'd do anything for you I'm saying thank you to the one who let her get away yeah, yeah. Eyes that I'm staring at Look at all this cash Bring your body, baby, I could bring you faith I need confidence in myself a little bit of classic weekend, ladies and gentlemen. You said it, I'm good now. I'm thinking about shit that I shouldn't have. You will see what you mean to me. Dude, definitely need to get a trim suit. But leg day over with. Slowly starting to develop right here. This side's pretty good too. Looking all right. But uh, I actually wanted to give a quick little shout out to Elysium Clothing, ladies and gentlemen. I've had this for a year. This is honestly my best, like, one of my best shorts, or one of my favorite shorts. Shout out Elysium, shout out Alex Eubank. These are kind of like the snake skin pattern, I guess. Very solid for, for the gym. Your boy's legs are locked up right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm starting to finally, like, actually lift more, like, lift more weights. I've been doing weights that are, like, uncharted territory for me. You can feel the Bernie Sanders, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna work on my calves today, but I usually work on my calves whenever I do the boxing stuff, so. Now we're gonna get into the predictions for Clash of the Castle. It's already happened, but I got work at 12.30, and guess when I have to start work? 12.30, so it's on Peacock right now, but as soon as I get home, I'm gonna be watching it. I'm gonna give you guys my predictions and see what happens, yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna get a thumbnail real quick. I'm just gonna title this video Leg Day. Alright, there's my thumbnail. Oh, no. Like day. I like this shirt a lot. I got it from the thrift store, but it's a it's an old navy one. It's really nice. Clash of the Castle 2024, located in Scotland. Yes, sir. If I could scale my excitement on a scale of one to ten, 
I think it's a solid seven. Yeah, I'm quite excited for this event. I mean, you know, it's not like a 10 out of 10 where like, for example, WrestleMania 40, I was incredibly excited for that one because it's WrestleMania 40. This one, I'm, I'm, you know, it's not like it's the greatest thing in the world, but I'm excited nonetheless. We got a pretty good card for this year. I would look up the card right now, but I'm afraid that if I look up Classic Clash at the Castle 2024, I'm afraid that the results are gonna come up because uh, again, like the event has already happened. Let's talk about the ones that I know so far. Here, right? So Piper Niven versus the champion Bailey. I think Bailey's gonna retain it. That's just me. There's no way Piper Niven is gonna not fucking do drop. Damian Priest versus uh, Drew McIntyre. So keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, last year, or was it two years ago or last year? I think it was last year, but Drew McIntyre lost his title shot against Roman Reigns in front of his hometown. I think I'm I'm sticking to this until they prove me wrong otherwise. But since Drew McIntyre lost last year, I think that Drew's gonna win it this year. I think Gunther's gonna win the championship this year. I think he's gonna take it in SummerSlam. They're booking Gunther so strong. Well, honestly, they've been booking Gunther really strong for the like his whole career, pretty much. I think he's only lost like three or four times in the main roster. AJ Styles versus Cody Rhodes in an I Quit match. I think I think AJ Styles is gonna lose that one again. But yeah, that's my predictions. I'll talk to you guys about the results as soon as I'm done watching it. A minor. It's actually a pretty good song, though. I'd like to be everything you want. Hey, girl, let me talk to ya. If I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. Oh. Swag. Swaggy? What the fuck? First up is Coldplay. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Uh, run up. We're so <laughs> but flying, there's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. All right, guys, let's talk. So, Wrestle, not WrestleMania, Clash of the Castle 2024. Five matches, only one surprise, and only one title change, surprisingly. So, to start off the night, we had Cody Rhodes versus AJ Styles, a classic of a match. Of course, Cody was gonna win that one. I believe the next one was the Bailey match. No, it was a tag team match, and for some reason, the Scottish girls won it. <laughs> what? In one of the matches, it was like a. Uh, a Wyatt 6 thing. And when you look into the QR code, it takes you to the website where uh, it shows you a countdown. Bo Dallas might be debuting on Raw Boys. Bailey versus Piper Niven. I knew Bailey was gonna retain that one. Given. Sammy versus Chad Gable. Sammy was gonna retain that, 100%. Um, yeah, and at the same time, Alpha Academy's falling apart. But where was Akira Tozawa, bro? And then I guess for the last match, Damon Priest versus Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre got screwed over. Uh, it almost seemed like a heel turn for, uh, CM Punk. I don't know if it was because it was Clash at the Castle and, you know, everyone wanted Drew to win, but it seemed like a heel turn move, but I don't think it is. The ref got hurt, Drew got the pin, everyone was counting up to, like, 15 or something because the ref was down and everything, so no one could count. And then when the ref came in, one, two, and then he stopped, and then it turned out the referee that came in for the other referee was CM Punk. CM Punk screwed Drew McIntyre over. And yeah, it makes sense in the story. I was wrong, Drew McIntyre lost. You know what, I'm not mad about it. When Gunther goes after the title, then uh, he can go after Drew, uh, Damon Priest while Drew McIntyre and CM Punk can still have their story. So overall, not a bad decision, but overall, really good event. Honestly, it felt like uh, it felt like I, uh, I was desiring more. I wanted more matches. Good one all around though, so. And the crowd was amazing. Solid seven or eight out of 10. Guys, I hope you can understand me. I got ice in my mouth. We just ordered some Buffalo Wild Wings. And had the blazing knockout sauce. It is a national emergency in my mouth right now. DEFCON 1. Holy fuck. Guys. Um, I, hold on. as we're cooling down our room here, let's let's have a chat, all right? The only reason why I did the blazing hot challenge, I guess, uh, from Buffalo Wild Wings is because I don't have work tomorrow. If I did it any other time, it would be a complete disaster because the next day it's a disaster. <laughs> a couple months ago, I went to Minneapolis. I bought one of those like Dave's hot chicken 
things. That was quite hot. Buffalo Wild Wings has gone through a bunch of like phases of like different types of blazons. They've had blazon, reformulated, they had, I, I don't know, I, there, there's a, maybe yeah, some others, maybe not, but now we're looking at the blazon knockout and I think it's hotter than the Dave's Hot Chicken. It's, it's bad. So I'm not gonna say never again because I think it was a fun experience. <laughs> fun, I guess. It was quite a doozy, but either way, we're gonna go to bed now. Or no, shower time. Yes. Oh, 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 o